Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Hogwarts Legacy and VTubers again because the situation just keeps getting more and more interesting, mm -hmm. right? So we've been talking about how some VTubers have been chased off. Right. By the Hogwarts Legacy activists or faux activists or whoever's actually doing the bullying, um, including Pika Me. She decided she was going to quit. Uh, AKA graduate uh, at the end of the month because of it. She didn't want to put up with it anymore. And uh, Silver Veil, you know, broke into tears. But then uh, later said she was going to play the effing game. She was going to play the effing game. And now we have another VTuber standing up. Uh, Pippa. Pippa is standing up to the bullies. Actually, I thought it was hilarious. I mean, if I was a VTuber, I'd be like this. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, um, play a clip of her intro to her first stream. We'll talk about it, and then we're gonna talk about some people kind of walking it back now. In fact, uh, Hassan Abi, who... I think backpedal, backtrack, you know, try to, try to throw attention off himself. Yes, that's what I think is going on. Hassan actually called out the bullies early on when people were being doxxed and harassed for playing Hogwarts Legacy. And when he was threatened. When he was, when he was threatened, when he was making headlines for getting angry because he was going to play Hogwarts Legacy and he was gonna do it for charity. And he said, look, it's basically just a damn game, get over it, whatever. And uh, he decided not to play it. But now it seems like he's throwing shade at other people who are deciding uh -huh. to play it. Probably. Look over there. <laughs> Look over there. It's not me, guys. It's not me. So we're, we're well, going to... It wasn't uh, Pick Me either. No. Yeah, Pick Me never got that far. She didn't even play. She never got that far. She said she was going to, and that was enough to, to bring these crazies out. So we're going to we're gonna talk about uh, all of this. All of this, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 297,000 subs. Yay. Almost 300,000. Maybe we should do a Hogwarts Legacy celebration stream. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, Clownfish needs to burn. Not only did you not like new she but you're touching that game. Uh, that game is selling very well, by the way. That game is breaking all kinds of records, and I think it's going to really explode once we see it uh, released for switch and yeah for i think switch ps4 and yeah. xbox one because like everybody has a switch yeah those right? are the, and those are the systems that yeah pretty much everybody has because a lot of times people could not get a hold of a playstation 5 or uh, one of the new xboxes a lot of people have the older versions so there's a much larger audience over there arguably yeah so let's uh let's talk about this this is a uh, pippa pippa pushing back um again i, I want to disclaim this we don't watch a lot of VTubers. I don't um, watch VTubers in general. So I might start though. They're kind of fun. They are fun. So this is this is Maybe I should do it. <laughs> you could. You could. You could be a geeky sparkle. We could give you like cat ears or something. Or People like fire eyes. You could fire, do, see, the fire eyes would be You could definitely. be like Cooking Mama. I always I would. your avatar on that one message board was a cooking mama with her eyes on fire. Yes. The Raging Ginger. That's your new name. Raging Ginger. Um uh, Ginger Snap. Ginger snap. Ginger will snap your neck, mofo. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, so let's let's leave this little intro here. So the whole start, what you missed was there's like the picture, like the little owl going through different places. They had it by Walmart, I probably because of that one joke that she had been at Walmart before. Yeah. And the owl finally gets to her to deliver the letter. And then this is what she says. This is something I would have said, but A letter for you, yes, is. I wonder what it says. Thank you, mysterious owl. <laughs> <laughs> like the one movie, Twilight. That's funny. What is it? What does it say? <laughs> it's an invitation to stop from Warner Brothers. What? What's this? It's signed at the bottom. Go kill yourself from Twitter. <laughs> okay. It's everything I could have ever asked for. <laughs> okay, that's 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 hilarious. Uh, that's hilarious. I go kill yourself from Twitter. Yes, Twitter says hello. Um, yeah, so, you know, they're starting to push back, right? Mm -hmm, good. They need to. You can still be a nice person, a good person, and be against bullying and still push back against bullies. 
Yeah, you know, um, so this is a true story. I, 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 and I've said this before. I got into a lot of fights when I was a kid. I still have a broken nose. I need to get that fixed because sometimes my side my nose is like. But, I have my nose broke twice. I know. And once when I was born. <laughs> so, and once because I smashed a pop can in my face. But that's another story entirely. You came out fighting. I did. You came. Out I came fighting. out of the womb fighting. You were like doing karate, like, like. Yeah, you're like Cora. You're just like popped out of that JJ and you're like, That's right. I'm Geeky Sparkles, bitches. That's right. Deal with That's it. Right. You see and then the doctor just like slapped you across the face and said, no, you stop. No, that's not what happened. But anyway, continue your story. I'm sorry I interrupted you. I was very excited about no, break, broken noses. Yeah, I don't know why it's exciting. But yeah, so I got into a lot of fights and I'll, I'll tell you the truth. Uh... People stopped picking on me once I started fighting back. And now I'm not advocating for violence, but I am well, saying. You don't have to hit physically. No, know, it's a different time. Back. You're not allowed to do that now because if you hit people back now, you're you're in trouble just well, like people started. I will tell you for a fact, after working in schools and having children, that if these kids are tormented until they fight back, they're the ones that get in trouble. Yes. But. I, yeah, so I got picked on until I decided I was going to fight back and I got in a lot of fights and I got in a lot of trouble. But once I got a reputation for being a guy that would fight back, they left me alone. Because the thing is, is that most of these bullies look for easy targets. They don't, they don't want somebody that's going to fight back. So then I always got targeted more because I'd see people getting bullied and I'd be like, oh, hell to the no. And then I'd step in there and then they'd, they'd, they'd stop bullying the person but then they all decide to bully me instead. <laughs> but they didn't get very far. But that's what usually would happen. Yeah, I that happened once. I threw a guy over at lunch table one time. Well, they were yeah. making fun of your friend. They were, they were, yeah. So I think I didn't get in trouble for that. That kid was a well. Here's the thing too, because that kid was a problem. So they they wouldn't have believed it was. Uh, yeah, you were you were you were good. So they were like. <laughs> I, yeah, he wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got I got in a lot of fights, but they they weren't usually on school grounds. No, the one time, no, the one time I did I did deck a kid, and the teacher was basically like, "Yeah, he had coming." I, I didn't see this. I'm like, "Yep, yeah, okay." <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this. So, yeah, sometimes you have to fight back. Sometimes you have to fight. Not back. physically. Not physically. Unless like your life's in danger. But um, so yeah, we've got some people that are very angry that VTubers are fighting back. Um, yeah, and that, this one this one pissed me off. It really, complex. it really, 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 really pissed me off because you had this guy going around being upset that you know he was going to stream for charity and they tried to cancel him, came after him. You know, people were defending him because it was you know out of line what they were doing. Now turning around and throwing other people under the bus for the exact same fucking thing he was in trouble for. Um, but it's like it's like deflection at this point. Like, look at them, not me. Look at them. Forget what I did. Yeah, that he didn't do anything. By the way, that's what's so weird. Because yeah, he made such a big deal. He didn't Has, even do anything wrong. Uh, Hassan made such a big deal. And look, I don't watch him. I know people have opinions one way or the other. I, I and I know he gets like way political. I, I don't really give a shit. Uh, he said that he was going to stream it. He was going to give the money to charity. That is his prerogative if he wants to do that. And then he got really angry. And I saw the clip. He was really angry that he wasn't even allowed to talk about it. He wasn't allowed to stream it. He wasn't allowed to, you know, whatever. And that all this money to charity got missed out on because of it. Now, I will say this. When people are like, I'm going to stream it for charity. Just because you want to play the game, but you want to be excused for playing the game. I think it's the whole thing. Just stream it because you want to. And if you want to donate to charity, then by all means do so. But you shouldn't. it shouldn't be a, a caveat for streaming that I'm only going to do it if I can donate money to, you know, whatever. And that's, that's just... You know, pick a side. Every damn article on half of these gaming websites now, if they do anything talking about Hogwarts Legacy or J.K. Rowling, they make sure they put a big link at the bottom of it that right. you got to give to charity. The approved if you charity. Want to, if you want to, the yes, charities. yes. If yeah. you want to stream it, you know, then own it. You, you, you can give to charity too or whatever. But at least be like, I want to stream it for charity, but it's really because I want to play it. You know, then just be up front. Right. People would have more respect for you if you're just up front. Yes, but you're asking too much of... Like, Pippa's you know, just like, I don't even like Harry Potter. I'm just doing it to piss you people off. Which, I mean, much. they're honesty, you know? Be yeah. upfront about it. That's what we tell you flat out. We're just doing it because we want to piss you off. And we tell you that flat out. But I love this. There's an industrial complex of VTubers industrial forming complex, yeah. that are grifting off... I love that anytime anybody makes any money doing something Twitter doesn't like, it is a grift. You're selling comic books that I don't approve of. It's a grift. Well, then they can they finish by gaslighting. Yes. No, no, they gaslight people. They're oh. like, 
the, they're getting harassed that they're getting for is coming from incel Nazis pretending to be trans. So they got two, two, uh, you know, things in there. Yeah. But here's the thing. Do I think some people are pretending to be trans just to be out there and, and cause shit? Probably. Yes. Probably. Do I believe that's the majority of the ones doing it? No, because they got the idea from watching the actual people do it in the first place. And you, then they're just like, it's not us. It's not us. We wouldn't do such a thing. So you're fucking gaslighting everybody saying it was never you. That is a lie. Flat when, out lie. When you've got the trans editor-in-chief of The Gamer going on the BBC and talking about how it's a moral obligation to boycott this game and discourage people from playing this game. Didn't go, come out and say, hey, harass people, but said it was a moral obligation to boycott it. And you've got other people who are certifiably trans who are on Twitter all the time saying, you know, boycott, boycott, boycott. Is it likely that there are people out there? And of course, they have to make sure they're mentioned incel Nazis. I mean, because, you know, this is a, this is like so typical of these people. Is it true that they're out there doing it? Yes, I believe it 100%. There are some people out there, a very small group of the, the, the larger group that are out there probably just trying to incite shit to keep it going. 100% believe that. But... I do not believe that is the majority by any stretch of the imagination or any means. And to try to imply that it is to to, to deflect from yourself is absolute garbage. <laughs> this is Rich coming from the guy that literally admitted on stream he canceled his plans to make a charity stream with the video game because of the harassment he would get for it, only for him to retweet a tweet that denies said harassment right. in quotes. Exactly. Epic moments. So apparently, I mean, people are like, yeah, he, he does this. I mean, I don't know. I don't watch him. I don't watch them. I know people have strong opinions. I, I don't really care. I just think it's kind of crap that you would call people out for harassing people for streaming it and then turn around and throw people under the bus. The only there was a word for that. Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. That's a spell. <laughs> I just think it's funny. It's hypocrisy, not hypocrisy. hypocrisy. No, it's hypocrisy, not hypocrisy. You know, you have to get that little. Anyway, no, but the point is. This is not okay. The 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 the, the double standard is is where I, where I want to talk, is what I'm mad about and how it's bullshit. And then these people are like, oh, it's not us. It's these outright yeah, Nazi incels. And I love how they use that as an you know, you're all incels. They try to sell tell me I'm an incel, and I'm like, don't even. Anyway, yeah, they're all. I mean, this is the thing. Like people, I, do I believe that there are false flags that people are pretending to be? Yeah, we've gotten it too. We've got, we had people mm. that come at us on Twitter that were caricatures of what they thought our audience was like based on who they thought we were. And it's like, I don't even know who this person is. Right. Know? And and the thing is, a lot of times it turns out they're not, that they're just, you know, pretending to be that. And yes, I completely believe that's part of the the, the group. But that is not the group. I mean, you can find people that identify, have all the flags. They are trans. They have been on their Twitter for years and pictures up. They're out there harassing people. So if it was just a fake incels. When there's a fucking website dedicated to finding, stalking, and harassing people who dare stream it on Twitch. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't tell me that was, that was... Yeah, and or that they game did. they did, the game to, to, to oh, tell yeah. us. I mean, bullshit. That they, bullshit. you guys have done nothing. And at the end of the day, um, the people that are actually, I feel bad for the most, are, um, you know, obviously the people being bullied because it's yeah. bullshit. But also the trans people who, because the majority of trans people aren't part of this group. They're like, shut the fuck up. They're like, you know, just you're, you're going too far. Just knock it off. And a lot of people that are in these activism groups aren't even trans. They're just like these people that live on Twitter looking for things to scream about. And the people that get hurt, harmed, I think, are like a lot of trans people because then if they like Harry Potter and want to play the game, they're bullied and harassed. If they, you know, are just trans, they might be bullied and harassed by other people. So they're kind of stuck in the middle where no matter what happens, they're going to get bullied and harassed. And that's not the majority of people. And sadly, it's causing a lot of backlash towards trans people that, you know, wasn't there so much before um more people are just joining in because they're like okay this is going too far and they just assume that all trans people are, are wanting this and that is not the truth it's kind of like PETA, you know people that are vegan or whatever or you know who are pro animal rights they get lumped in with people that are out there you know uh, doing crazy stuff in the name of animal rights uh, you know spray painting people's coats and you know, kidnapping their dogs and whatever yeah. else a PETA does. And that's you know? demanding that you get paid the reward for the said kidnapped dog. Right, right. Um, yeah, it's just like a lot of people that, you know, 
are getting bullied, are getting bullied and it's stupid. It's over a, a fucking game. People want to be, as, as, as Silvervale said, a fucking wizard. And this is just absolute stupidity. And then, but then that'd be like, you know, oh, I, I, I was going to stream it and I, I got bullied and I'm not doing it because it's, I'm not going to be, I don't want to be bullied more. Turning around and helping to bully somebody else. It just, you know, people, there, people show you who they are. There are people out there who have actually said, and they are legit. I'm not, they're not, you know, false flag or whatever, but they're flat out saying, hey, um, it's justifiable because, the, you know, basically they deserve it because everybody else has bullied us. So we're going to bully other people and just deal but with it. But no one should bully anybody. No, again, over a fucking video game. And again, where's the outrage over the Funko the Twitter, Pops? Where's the, the outrage over the Legos? Where's the outrage over Universal? The you Twitter know? activists are like the worst bullies I've ever seen in my life. But the thing is, is this is all online. Like, if they actually had to go out, like, like go protest. Tell you what. Yeah, but let people see your faces and stand there and tell it to them. Get in your car and drive to Warner Brothers headquarters, get a picket sign. And see how far that's going to go. Yeah, make sure everybody gets pictures of you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and and that's just it. They're, they're big. They're big people when they're online. But Twitter, the Twitter culture, is like so toxic. And the people that are the worst boys I've ever seen ever, um, have been via Twitter. And I've seen them tell people to kill themselves over cartoon art, oh, over yeah, not liking yeah. a cartoon show. We got in threats. Mm-hmm. Told, we got told our kids should kill themselves. Mm-hmm. Um. They're, you know, like rate polls, everything else over not liking a fucking cartoon. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. So uh, anyway, you do you, boo. I think this, I think the reason everybody's freaking out so much over this is that this was one of the biggest backfires in gaming history. Now who could have foreseen this? Who could have foreseen like this? Everybody. Everybody knew this was going to happen. It's like you actually helped sell more copies. You with caused your you outrage. caused your, the problem yourself. Yep. And then you're trying to blame everybody else for it. But you're the one that caused it. You're the one. You're that, victim blaming. I don't, I'm not victim blaming. I'm you're, you're you caused it. I'm sorry. It's your fault. You're you're doubling, tripling down on stupidity, which is making you look worse. Now you're trying to blame everybody else. Oh no, it wasn't me. It was all those all these incel accounts that just showed up to to harass people over Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna wrap this one up. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel. I feel that. Like I mean, like. There we go. We're kindred. I feel like we could be kindred. We're gonna wrap this up. Please yes. subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Check out Clownfish Gaming. We are gonna do more gaming over there. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna play Hogwarts Legacy. We have to think about. It. We'll think about. Well, it's not because not because of this. It's because it's long. Yeah. <laughs> like I was talking to our it's editor. The time sink. I was talking to our <laughs> editor about it yesterday, and uh, they're like. Yeah, that game is like long. Do you know how many videos that would wind up being? I'm like, yeah. That's the only reason we have it because Ten we, years we really don't have a lot of time because we work on so many different things. So, we're trying to get books done and everything else. Yeah, so we try to we try to do like sandbox games or games that can be beaten in like a couple hours versus, you know, freaking 90 hour time sync. But we'll see. We'll see. The kids will play it, right? Yeah, I'm sure the kids will play it here. Um, you and I are the ones that don't have a lot of time. We do not have a lot of time. So anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Talk to you guys later. Bye.